Commander Hawthorne, you know how I feel about rookies. The same way I feel about autopilots. How may I assist you? Is there anything I can do, sir? They don't help, they just overcomplicate things. I'm better off just doing the job myself. Which is why I brought the rookie. Uh, hello? No. Buzz, protocol requires we bring him along. He's gonna have sad eyes. Buzz? You know I can't deal with sad eyes. Look at the rookie, Buzz. Nope. Look at the ro- Look. No, no. Lightyear. Nope. Look at him. Not looking. Look, look, nope. Look, no, look, no, look, no, look, no, 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 no. Look at the rookie. <sighs> All right, all right! You win. <sighs> Look, feather... featherings... feather... It's a feathering instance, sir. Look, rookie. First, you will not speak unless spoken to. Yes, sir. Still talking. Second, respect the suit. This suit means something. It's not just protecting your body, it's protecting the universe. This suit is a promise to the world that you, and you alone, will do one thing above all. Finish the mission, no matter the cost. You will never quit. Whatever the galaxy may throw your way, will you please turn that off? <laughs> It's just too easy. You're mocking me, aren't you? Yeah, but in a supportive way. I can provide sleep sounds if you like. I have several options. Summer night, ocean paradise, whale calls. No, no, white noise is fine. Very well. Good night, Socks. Good night, Buzz. Stop right now and put your hands over your head. Back up. Back up. Get the Zap Patrol. All right, team, let's go. Uh -huh. Override the silo doors. He isn't going anywhere. Last. Unauthorized. Unauthorized. Un 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 Just come Un on. We're sitting ducks here. Allow me. What's happening? He, he, he overrode my override. How? People, 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 people. Lightyear, Lightyear! I know you can hear me. Return the ship to base right now, or so help me! Socks, let's break this hyperspeed barrier and get everyone home. Let's review our objectives. Kill the robots and don't die. Don't die, it's just something you want to do every day. It's still an objective. If I may, we have one objective. We need to put this crystal in the turnip and get out of here. So, to do that, we have to get onto the base. To do that, we have to kill all the robots. To do that, we have to destroy the Zerg ship. And to do any of that, we have to not die. Uh, um, Derek? Allow me to explain Operation Surprise Party. It is a variation on Operation Thunder Spear. Didn't you get a medal for that one? Two, actually, but, uh... Wait, how do you know about Operation Thunderspear? <laughs> I've read all my grandma's Space Ranger books from cover to cover. Twice. Huh. Excuse me, Robot Kitty Cat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sensors have indicated that the Zerg ship powers the robots on the ground. So we fly up there, we blow up the ship, and surprise, robots! You're toast. Then, we put your crystal in the turtle And finish the mission. It's a good plan. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. It was... Uh, sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. I, we would never... She didn't mean to... Anyway, forget it. Buzz Lightyear Mission Log from the studio that brought you Toy Story. <laughs> um, socks. <coughs> You're inhibiting my visual. Oh, sorry. Is this better? Negative. Okay, uh, how about this? On June 17th. All right, Space Rangers. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. Seen Pixar's Lightyear. Rated PG. Only in theaters. Tickets available now. I've been a fan of Buzz since the first time that I saw Toy Story. To infinity and beyond! It's one of my favorite movies. The movie Toy Story was such an impactful film. Thank you all, thank you. It's so iconic and the characters had such variety. They just offer something that's so relatable. For over 20 years, I've been percolating on this idea of what is the world Buzz Lightyear comes from. This film is the origin story of Buzz Lightyear. Finally. It's the story that made Andy and his friends want to go buy a Buzz Lightyear toy. Having the opportunity to take your childhood hero and make a fictional movie about them. That was just a really fun challenge. Buzz Lightyear Mission Log. There seems to be no sign of it.
intelligent life anywhere. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. <laughs> you were narrating again. I was not. Yeah, that's great. Buzz is the kind of person that you want to lead you on an adventure. He's obsessed with being the hero. Are we going to crash? Sometimes to a fault. This is my mistake. I need to make it right. Buzz meets a team of specialists. Don't worry, we got you. Did I get it? Ready, go. Hello, Buzz. This is exciting. A new adventure. Socks is the cutest member of the team. Buzz! Buzz, right here! Just hang on! Run! Lightyear raises the bar. It's an intergalactic experience. Go! All right, Space Rangers. Ready? Ready. ready. No, wait, not ready. I'm a massive Pixar fan. I was a kid in the candy store. Watch out! It's unlike any Pixar movie to date. I will never forget the first time I got to say, to infinity. <laughs> and beyond. Well, this is pretty cool. OMG. Like your mission log, Stardate 3901. After a full year of being marooned, our first hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to the. I know that. Narrating helps me focus. Ready, Captain Lightyear? Ready as I'll ever be, Commander Hawthorne. This is exciting. A new adventure. I'm going to grant you four minutes to be off planet, but then you come right back to us. To infinity. And beyond. You are clear for hyperlaunch. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Buzz, that was utterly terrifying, and I regret having joined you. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Hey, hey! Shh! The robots! The what? What is happening right now? Alicia? Oh no, that's my grandmother. But, Socks, how long were we gone? Meow, 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 meow. 62 years, seven months, and five days. What? I hope you're ready for action, because all we needed was a pilot. For what? To destroy the alien ship. I have a plan, and I have a team. Darby can take any three things and make them explode. I do this, and they shave a little time off my sentence. Okay. And what about you? Well, I thought this was going to be like a fun boot camp workout thing. <laughs> but it is not. <laughs> Did I get it? Close. I need the. You know what's saying? The harpoons. Buzz! Buzz, right here! The probability of survival with an inexperienced crew is thirty-eight point two percent. Hmm, seems a bit low. Mission failure imminent. In three. Grandma always said she believed in you. Two. One. There was a big swirly do. Oh, I think I need a bag. No, no. Please record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. If you are satisfied with this recording, speak or select uh. one. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh. Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah.